Uh, Aurelio has asked, can you touch on crankshaft in play and how this can be adjusted? Okay, so yep, absolutely. Crankshaft in play, uh, also called uh, thrust movement. Uh, basically what we're talking about is the the crankshaft moving backwards and forwards in the engine block. Now, this is supported and controlled by the thrust bearings in the engine block. And while they're not as critical as the rest of the bearings in the engine, the clearances aren't quite so critical, we still need to check and make sure that everything is within specification there. So generally this comes into being uh, important in a, a manual transmission car when we're engaging and disengaging the clutch because obviously that applies an end force or end loading on the crankshaft, trying to force the crankshaft forward and backwards in the engine block and that's supported by those thrust bearings. Uh, so the important aspect there is checking during a dummy assembly. Generally the easiest way of doing this is by assembling a or fitting a dial gauge onto the snout of the crankshaft and then we can use a couple of pry bars and basically we'll pry the crankshaft backwards and forwards in the engine block and we can measure the thrust clearance. Uh, if it is outside of the manufacturer's specification uh, then there are a couple of options there. Often there are oversized thrust bearings that are available in the aftermarket or from the OE manufacturer uh, so these can be incorporated but will require the thrust surfaces of the crankshaft to be machined as well so uh, that's generally how we'll go about doing that. Uh, basically in my own experience in this the crankshaft is damaged on the thrust surfaces uh, and is showing excessive wear. It's uh, very very rare that we'll have a problem with the thrust or end float in the crankshaft uh, because partly the, the tolerance is quite a lot wider than what we have for our main bearings or for our connecting rod bearings. That question was taken from one of our free live lessons. If you like free stuff and you're the type of guy who wants to expand your knowledge, click the link in the description to claim your free spot to our next live lesson. You'll learn about performance engine building and EFI tuning, and you'll also have the chance to ask your own questions, which I'll be answering live. Remember, it's 100% free, so follow the link to claim your spot.